good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2019 Ural Gear Up. I'll be taking you on a quick condition overview on this Ural Gear Up, as well as showing you some of its most notable features, of which there are many. This is a very well accessorized motorcycle, as you can see. But we'll start here on the exterior. Of course, it is worth mentioning this motorcycle is showing just over 2,000 miles. It's had a very gentle life, and as you can see, the paint here on the exterior is in beautiful condition. It's finished in olive gloss, which is not a color we come across too often here at Alpha Cars. Uh, it looks wonderful. I kind of like that military spec that it's got. Really, really unique appearance. And of course, that olive gloss color plays so nicely with all of the black accents throughout the motorcycle, which we'll cover here in a moment. You can see as I carry over the fender on the sidecar, really nice gloss factor on this paint. It's in such good condition all the way through. You can see that beautiful reflection just there. You won't find any chips here where you'd expect at the nose of the sidecar or the fender. Even there on the side of the sidecar, the paint's looking really wonderful. Take you around to the actual motorcycle portion here. You'll find these black accents like the suspension, the wheels, and the black powder coated engine. This is a 749cc opposed twin, otherwise known as a boxer motor. It's producing 41 horsepower and 42 pounds feet of torque. A lot of that torque comes from down low, so you're going to have a really nice pull at the bottom of each gear. Uh, of course, so that is great when you're utilizing the bike's off road capabilities or even just putting around town. You can see you do have that nice modern fuel injection as well. Power is sent through a twin plate dry clutch and delivered through a four speed manual transmission. Shaft drive over to the final drive here. I'll show you underneath this saddlebag. You do have the final drive just there, of course, two wheel drive. So you can see the drive shaft carrying over to the sidecar wheel, which is activated via this lever just behind your right foot. Now, of course, that is going to be great if you're uh, stuck in an off-road situation, but a majority of the time going down the roadway, you're just going to be using the one-wheel drive aspect on the motorcycle. Very robust drivetrain, very reliable. It's been in existence for so long. They've refined it over many, many decades, and they're still going strong. You can see here, you have this nice windshield here at the front in really nice condition. It's not all scratched up or hazy. See all the mounting points? just there you won't find any damage in the area see the headlight crystal clear really nice lens just there of course here at the gas tank you may have noticed this beautiful saddle bag really really nice I'm not sure you'd call it a saddle bag this leather storage mounted on the tank custom fit really nice stitching obviously very high quality and of course a very desirable option I've only seen a couple of these fitted on Urals here and absolutely beautiful craftsmanship all the way through and it adds a really unique look to the motorcycle of course so you do have these nice metal latches all of which are free of any corrosion so of course they operate perfectly and it leaves a cutout for that nice little glove box you have on the tank they also have a nice aftermarket gas cap just here which is super handy for saving any splash it's going to do a great job of keeping that splash down and protecting your paint in conjunction with that beautiful leather cover just there. Picking away a little further back on the motorcycle, you can look at the exhaust pipes there in nice condition. Very minor, minor cosmetic wear on them, and they, they look excellent. You won't see any rust there on the back. See these nice bags in the rear as well. Nice durable material with some leather integrated in just there. Plenty of extra storage alongside the trunk just there. You also have a couple smaller bags for other accessories you may need and of course this nice metal metal med kit. Of course you could store anything you need in here but it does kind of stick with that military theme in my eyes and I really like the way that looks. Of course you have the sidecar mounted spare wheel as well. Full size, really nice condition as well. You'll see that rim's in great shape. Probably hasn't seen any use at all. You can see that is a brand new tire with that little fraying rubber at the top. Uh, it's brand new, so that's a nice thing to have as well. You also have this nice cargo net fitted on the bike, which is in great shape. Looking here at the back of the sidecar, you have that shovel mounted there on the side, which does fold up. That's going to be great if you find yourself in a sticky situation off-road. You do, of course, have the undercoating on this sidecar, and as we get a little bit lower, you can see that is in brilliant shape as well. You do have these nice little shocks there for a smoother ride in the sidecar. Mud flaps as well. Sidecar wheels in beautiful shape. 
You have this nice step up as well and all of the black accents here at the front, the crash bar and the frame of the sidecar all look perfect. So you do have these nice LED spotlights fitted on all gear ups from the factory. They look great, you won't see any rock chips on those either. And they function using this switch mounted here on the handlebars. Now that we're up at the handlebars, of course, you have these nice aftermarket heated grips. This is a brand that we trust very much, and this is what we install at Alpha Cars. They work brilliantly, keep you super warm, and of course, there's no bike you would rather take on winter drives than this one. Absolutely perfect for that, especially with this nice protective windshield just ahead of you. You also have a nice little cup holder just nearby. And of course, over on the sidecar, that really nice vinyl cover to match the vinyl double up tractor seats just there. The vinyl skirt that comes off of the windshield as well is in perfect shape. You won't find any tearing or fraying on any of the edges. It looks brand new. And of course, this is a very durable material, lasts a very long time and offers some great weatherproofing. Here at the nose of the bike again, we do have this nice gas steering stabilizer just there, adjustable via that red knob on the outside. Uh, that's going to be super handy if you're going down the highway. These bikes can comfortably cruise at 60, 70 miles an hour on the highway. Uh, but of course, that bit of adjustability is going to be super helpful, giving you a bit more stability at higher speed. You also have the twin shocks here up at the front and the Brembo brake rotor and caliper just there. Of course, having really powerful brakes is super, super crucial on a motorcycle, especially one of this size. So, of course, Ural did not skip out at all and put the Brembos on all three points of contact. A really nice feature to have. So next up, I'm going to open up the trunk and the sidecar and give you a quick tour in there. So I'll be right back after disassembling that sidecar cover. Okay, so I've got the sidecar opened up for you here. You can see on the interior, you can see that vinyl seat in really nice shape with the Ural logo embossed just there. Very durable seat and actually quite a comfortable place to be. Of course, for ease of access, this windshield does fold up with that handle to pull it back down once you're in. Being about six foot four, I can actually fit in the sidecar just fine, which is quite impressive. It's actually a lot more roomy than one would expect. As you can see here, you do have that rubber protective floor mat just inside. And as we take a look at the trunk, you'll find plenty of space. And in there, you'll find that owner's manual. It's in nice shape on the inside and you won't find any paint missing or any corrosion along this edge, which is normally where you'll find it on these used bikes as the chafing from this rubber gasket just here can over years wear this down but of course none to be found here and clearly no touch-up used it's all in really nice shape on both sides so of course what was in the trunk I've now laid out just here these are some accessories that comes along with this bike just a quick walk through I got the original gas cap and the touch-up paint corresponding to not only the olive gloss color but also all of the flat black accents scattered throughout the bike that paint will cover all of that for you. You have this nice kind of inflatable comfort seat, which is gonna be nice for those long haul rides. You do have a nice dual USB power outlet sitting just here atop the sidecar cover. We do have actual protective covers for the motorcycle itself, as well as the sidecar individually. So that's a great thing to have. You also have this nice Ram phone mount alongside an extra cup holder, this jack for any roadside work, some extra windshield mounting brackets, and a couple little brake covers, brake pedal covers just there, as well as some oil. This is the oil that we recommend using in these Urals. So of course, plenty of accessories going along with this bike. And of course, as you can see, just in brilliant shape. Of course, I'd fire it up for you. Make our way back to the motorcycle. Let's see the needle sweep just there. No strange warning lights. You can see that's just the parking brake light that you're seeing. So as I turn off this parking brake, see that light goes out, but I'll leave it on. 2,092 miles currently. Fires right up. Already idling quite happily. As you can hear. Nice steady idle. There's no fluctuation. You can hear the bike is quite happy at the moment. You can see the lighting. And of course, let me throw on those spotlights there on the sidecar. They throw a lot of light. That's a great thing to have at night. As you can see, the bike runs beautifully. It's got tons of life left, and there's so many good experiences to be had with this Ural. I know it's going to make somebody very happy. 
So if you have any further questions, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you're going to find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.